This episode of Internet Superstar is brought to you by Bank of America, Netflix, and GoDaddy. Get your piece of the internet today. A really fine piece. Make it bigger, make it easier, make it hotter. Build your website with GoDaddy.com. Use the promo code STAR1 when ordering. Thanks for supporting Internet Superstar. They stripped him of everything except his desire. His mission, to become an Internet Superstar. Sadly, he's doing it with absolutely no resources. Nice dress, buddy. It's a dream coat, Gator. Whatever, man. Let's just do this show. Hello and welcome to Internet Superstar, the greatest show that has ever been put on in this shed since the 8th grade production of Fiddler on the Roof. I tried to stage up there. Man, I'm Internet Martin Sargent, <laughs> and I'm joined as always here by my good friend, The Gator. How you doing, Gator? What's up, Ooh, buddy? I am so doing? excited about this show. This is such a terrific show we have for these guys today. It is. Today. Oh, God. Yeah. You might have heard of life casting, this amazing phenomena where these internet nuts capture everything they do by wearing a camera on oh, their yeah. head 24 that's, 7. That's crazy. Oh, Damn. Damn. That animal. Dude, so, something needs to be done about this rabid possum. It's, it's terrorizing my... I can't concentrate. Fiddler on the roof, only it was my half-wit cousin Terry doing the snarling. He was none too happy about being cast as Nahum the Beggar. Yeah, man, I, I, could, I could get rid of that possum for would you. Would you do that? Too I bad can't, I wasn't I can't there in the Just go scare it off into smothers his yard. Yeah, I'll do more than that. You know, just get rid of it. Anyway, as I was saying... On the show today, we'll be talking to the world's most famous and popular life caster, the beautiful and talented I Justine will be here. Get, get her! Get in here, man! You can't fire to the last time. You can't fire guns in this neighborhood and then destroy the bodies of whatever. You, you don't you remember what happened last week when you shot and, and killed and then and then burned? Why is there blood all over your face, man? I ate that uh, possum's heart, man. I cleaned it and I ate his heart. That's a, that's just hunting 101, man. You kill something wild, you got to eat its heart. That's just the basics, man. It's like that was a basic. rabid animal, and this is suburbia. You're gonna get sick. You can get sick, man. You're full of it. Get you're, sick. You're gonna get sick, man. I, you know, I hope you don't. But you just ate the raw, still beating heart of a rabid animal. You're just messing with me, man. I'm not. Am I gonna get? Let's just let's just get on with the show. All right. I would like to because I'm really excited about this show. And actually, right now, it's time to take a check of the High Tech Tech News Ticker. Oh, sweet Lord. This is the kind of news story that producers of infantile shows that have nominal, quite tangential links to technology like ours just dream about. Headline, the toilet aboard the International Space Station is broken. Not working. Thank you, Jesus. That's right, and as an emergency measure, the three crew members have been using the tiny toilet aboard the Russian Soyuz module that's attached to the space station, but now that's full, and they've been forced to use Apollo-era plastic bags with sticky openings. <laughs> Isn't this a bit, I mean, you know that everyone, everyone on there, the three guys, they're blaming the last guy who used that toilet, like Sergey. Sergey, Sergey why do you have to go eat all, all, that, all that freeze-dried ice cream <laughs> last night? Do so, that in a, in a toy. We can't. What do you do? This is, I mean, there's been a lot of tragedies with NASA. This is. It's this, embarrassing. It's, it's a, like our, our just good. Get our those athletes. guys down. Yeah, get down from there. You know, Jesus, you're they're shitting in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> I, bet, I bet like Sergey took an upper decker on the Suez over there. Well, you there. can't help but do an upper decker. There's no <laughs> gravity up there. There's feces floating all over. You do an upper decker. Got... I mean, can you still smell poo in a vacuum? Uh, How does that you know, work? I don't even like to think about it. I mean, our fine like astronauts smacking. up there shitting in These a little bag PhDs, up there. These are for heaven's sake. These are like fine scientists. And they're crapping in plastic bags. Somebody's going to get confused too and they're going to think it's like a, a like the meatloaf or you something. You can't tell one like, from the other. All the tube up there comes out of food, out of tubes. Floating it's around like, up there. Uh, they're going to eat a big turd. It's embarrassing. Get them down from Get there. Get them it's down time. from there. I'm tired of this this space program thing. What has it gotten us? I they, don't even care if we're doing to the moon, up there? honestly. 
fucking cockroaches live in zero gravity. Yeah, it's all these stupid, like, stupid experiments. Go to Mars. That's where it's at now. Don't even do that. Go. I don't know. Anyway, I was saying earlier, <laughs> I hate the space program. As I was saying earlier, we're very excited to have the wildly talented and beautiful yeah. I'm Justine on the show today. And Gator, uh, you got sort of excited about this whole I life sure casting did. thing, didn't you? I sure and did. And you yourself decided to attach a camera to your head uh -huh. for a spell, didn't you? I did, yesterday. Uh, well, well uh, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the Gator skull cam. You want to set this up for us a little bit? Uh, I just sort of put on a cam, and then I, you know, I ended up at the bar, and I sort of even almost forgot I had the cam on my head. But I just sort of went about my daily business, and okay, sort of I'm looking forward to seeing this. Let's let's roll this package. All right. You should probably stop wearing a camera. I, I, you're you're going to get put back in county with quickness, man. Remember, you're acting like I don't even remember half of that. I don't. I don't think that was me, <laughs> even though it was attached to my head. Well, <laughs> well, coming up, we'll find out how it should be done with I Justine right after this word from our sponsor. Martin, I don't even feel so good no more. I think that possum heart is starting to talk back to me a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm going to go out in the yard and get a little fresh air. Uh, all right, I'll just, I'll just do the interview oh. with I Justine Solo. Man. You don't think I get Told sick from eating eat that possum Damn heart. Possum heart. Damn we'll be right back, everyone. And welcome back to my show. My next friend is the world's most famous life caster, a strange breed of human who attaches a camera to their head and broadcasts everything they're doing to anyone on the internet who chooses to watch 24-7. Here's I Justine. Justine, thanks so Hi. much for coming Whoa. to my mom's shed. I like it. Isn't it nice? It's neat, huh? I know. It's I think my functional. favorite is that little uh, Crayola. That's yours, then. Thanks. You can take that with you. Are you that's, serious? A, that's my gift to you, I just think. Are you serious? Yeah, but you have to you have to Twitter about it and bring me more Twitter fans. Twitter.com slash Martin Sargent. Do it, people. Follow slash me. I just do it. She's got ten <laughs> times more Twitter. See, Justine and I were just talking about this. She says, I am the internet. And as you people know, I have been saying for years, I am internet. We are just in a fairly rigorous debate about who came up with this first. Well, if you are internet, I am the internet, so... Can we both be internet? Is the internet big enough for both of us to be that? I think so. I mean, I'm willing to share. I'm not. So I would like... <laughs> okay, we'll share. Justine, I gotta <laughs> tell you, I was absolutely crushed. I was crushed. My life was adrift. I didn't know I, I, I was oarless and rudderless out there in the vast ocean of loneliness. Are you okay? When you decided to stop life casting 24-7. Why did you do that? Why did you do that to me? I'm sorry. You know, when people started showing up and my actual personal real life started becoming affected by... It's a stalker's own. dream, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I was actually voluntarily inviting stalkers into my life. <laughs> like, seriously, who does like, how, that? How would you, like, just by, by, by virtue of life, ca life casting, or did you actually say on the thing, here, come meet me it, at the Coffee Bean and yeah. Tea Leaf. This is where I'm at. That is so stupid. Why would someone do that? I have no idea, but I did it. Yeah, because anyone can tell if they're astute where you are at any given mm. time. Right? That is right. And yeah, did anything bad ever can't come of that? Nothing bad did happen, which you're, is which you're is lucky. exactly that's why I kind of quit while I was ahead. But I mean, the amount of people that I've met doing that and just saying, "Hey, show up," I've met a lot of amazing people. Yeah. So thankfully, 
No one tried so to put me in that van. So on balance, it's, it's been a very good thing for you that you started. It was only about a year ago from today that you first attached the camera to your head, right? Yeah, it's been a year. And then how long did you do it? I did it for about six months. Wow, and that, that was just enough and you just got kind of freaked out? It was. I mean, it was kind of a slow progression. I just kind of stopped doing it. I still do live shows like every Wednesday and every uh -huh. Sunday, but not... 24/7. When you would go home, did you shut the camera off so that people didn't oh. know the route to get to your house, or, or is it like you know Batman going to the Batcave? Well, no, I would either like put it in my glove compartment or just like <laughs> set it on the passenger seat. But they would they didn't know where I lived. What what's the worst thing that happened as a function of you having a camera attached to your head? Something that was really <laughs> nightmarish. Was there a single incident that made you say, "Okay, I gotta stop doing this. This is dangerous." Uh, there was. Tell actually. me about it. Can you? Or is it too dangerous? Well, there's actually a few things. I almost got arrested at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I was, I was life casting. JetBlue, New York, coming back from a trip. And uh, I was, you know, life casting. I'm just like, hey, what's up? I'm just doing my thing. Well, apparently two undercover detectives hopped on that flight, followed me to Pittsburgh. And when we were getting off the plane, they're like, sorry, there's been a breach of security. Dacini's Eric. And they flipped their badges. I'm like, oh, God. Are you serious? You're kidding. Just yeah. because you had this camera attached to your head? Well, like, apparently it's illegal to film takeoffs. Oh, you know what? Things. You're right. It is. Yeah, it is. You're a felon. Sorry. So is it really the government that, the government that made you stop doing no, this? No, I mean, it, it started getting a little bit too much. I mean, like, my personal relationships were be being affected. People I can imagine. didn't want to even have a conversation. I mean, do, did you have an active dating life or anything like that? I mean, would anyone, I, I would date you. Whether or not you had a, you could have an IMAX theater <laughs> attached to your head, I date you. But, uh, <laughs> but, but I mean, it, it, was it a problem? It, it, for, uh, for, it, yeah, there, there's a few videos on there of, of possible dates that went really bad. So, when, when you were at your height of, of your life casting career, how many people were watching you at any given moment? There was a few thousand. There was an average of maybe like five. Oh my God! I wish you had that on because if you had that on right now, you would like quintuple my 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 <laughs> my. View viewership if you had that thing attached to your head right now. I'm sorry. Do you want to borrow it? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe I do. I don't think. No one would watch me, though. But the thing is, people do watch this craziness. I think no, no one would watch me. It's they different. They probably would watch you. You should try it's it. It's different. If I was hanging out with you and I had it attached to my head, then maybe people would watch They'd me. Like, who's that guy? Do you want me to kill him? <laughs> they, they're violent. I know. They're crazy. I mean, you got to be... Okay, I'm sorry. Life casters, you're all cool and everything, but you got to be a little off, right? Well, what do you think it is? What's the, what's the attraction to watching somebody, you know, just live out the minutiae of their life 24-7? I think one of the cool things is these people can affect what's going on. Whereas you're watching a movie, you can't be like, yo, Brad Pitt, go get a coffee right now. Where they could either text me, hey, I'll PayPal you $3, go get yourself a Frappuccino. And they can just watch me do it. So it's kind of like those, the turn the page books. Oh, oh do, you, do you want to go to the mall? Turn to page 13. Or something like that. Do you remember those? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so it's kind I of I choose your own adventure. Yeah, I think it's, it's kind of. I never like realized there was a monetary incentive to this. Maybe I will get into life casting. <laughs> well, yeah, they're, they're giving me $3 to buy a coffee. I mean, Should I get another drink? Yes, yeah, send me the money to do so. <laughs> hey, the 300 page iPhone bill. Yeah. Made huge waves all over the internet. Tell me that story. I mean, you, you, it, I thought it was fake the first time I saw it. You're flipping through this 300 page iPhone mm -hmm. bill. How do you get a 300 page iPhone, iPhone bill? I text message a lot. I, okay, it was 300 pages, but what was the cost of the bill? I think we never like, hear that. I think it was like $278, which was, I mean, there was, there was uh, like connection fees and service charges That's and all that. not that bad. No, so I mean, that was just average for a startup bill. Does everyone who, who uses the iPhone as much as you, they, everyone's getting these 300 page bills? Well, I mean, not anymore. Two days after I released the video, AT&T had changed their... Because <laughs> of you. Perhaps. You saved a forest. Yes! You ruled. That's you go in life. Hey, are you parlaying your internet fame into Hollywood fame? Is that is that the goal? Is that what you're, you're trying to do with all this? I mean, not necessarily. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun just doing uh -huh. what I'm doing. But, I mean, we're going to be doing a new show. Actually, we are shooting it in L.A. It's out with Carson Daly, and we're going to be doing it's a daily show talking about the internet, talking about tech. And if you've seen, like, the Sports Center show where there's, like, the 
the people and they're all like, yeah. I'm not sure exactly, I'm not a big sports fan, but um, <laughs> but it's going to be kind of like the sports center show for tech. Uh huh. And so, well, you know what? They didn't call me to ask me to be a correspondent for that. I guess you are internet not, well, and I am not. I guess that just, that maybe just proves it. it's because you're not following me on Twitter. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to now, and you guys are too. <laughs> Twitter.com slash iJustine, mm -hmm. is that it? And to follow everything that iJustine is doing on and off the internet, just go to iJustine.com, right? Yes. iJustine, thank you so much for being on my show. You are an internet superstar. And you are internet. Uh, I hope you didn't bang it oh. there. Sorry. Hey, everyone, follow iJustine, iJustine.com. Thanks so much for being on the program. Hey, coming up next, we're going to meet this week's Gators gal right after this word from our sponsor. Last year, for her birthday, I got my Aunt Clara an all-expenses-paid hiking and rafting adventure package for the wilds of southern Utah. She always said she loved hiking, but two days into the trip, she wandered off looking for wildflowers and stepped in a coyote trap. They didn't find her for six days, and by then, she gnawed off part of her foot in a failed attempt to free herself. She also went crazy. I should have gotten her Netflix instead. If I had, she'd be safe at home right now, enjoying over 90,000 movie and TV titles delivered free to her mailbox with no late fees. Get Netflix instead. I wish I had. Then my aunt would still have a foot and not be so crazy. For great savings and to support our show, sign up at the secret site www.netflix.com slash superstar. And welcome back to my show. You feeling better, Gator? Uh -uh. You look a little, uh, a little sweaty, a little clammy there. Uh. You know, it's really too bad too, because you know that interview with I Justine. Yeah, I think you really, really liked her. She's, she's, you all right? Uh -uh. I don't feel good, man. All right, it's little... times like these when, when we get a little life advice from my old high school gym teacher. Take a knee, everyone, especially you, because here's Ask Coach Cole. Uh huh. <laughs> Dear Coach Cole, I'm a coach for a high school team in Indiana, and I'm a little concerned that some of my players might be experimenting with performance-enhancing drugs. How should I confront them regarding my concerns? Signed, Coach. Well, Coach, I want signed a running back out of Mississippi who barely tipped the scales at 149 pounds. Just a little water bug of a thing. But by halfway through his freshman year, I had him up to 235 pounds if he weighed an ounce. Back then, we did it the old-fashioned way by mixing horse blood with peanut butter and pushing tractor tires up a hill. But these days, them kids want to take the shortcuts. I've seen young boys juice up so hard, their necks It ain't right! And as far as confronting them boys, I just go into their dorm room one Monday night at around 3 or 4 a.m. with an aluminum bat and bust their place into splinters! You find any drugs, throw one of them boys out a goddamn window and tell the others that they're next unless they clean up their act. Anyway, I hope that helps. Remember, life is always fourth and goal. Move the chains, people. And you can send your questions to Coach Cole at revision3.com. Thanks, Coach. You doing, are you doing all right? You, you look. My man is crazy. Oh, I don't feel good, man. You know, I, already, I, I know we already had one fine-looking woman on the show, but you, th you think you got the stomach to, uh, to introduce us to this week's Gators, Gal? Uh, I, almost, I was trying to sing a song this week. So. Oh, this is going to be great. All right, here's Gators, oh, Gals, yeah. in song this week. Who, who, who's this dedicated to? This gal named Kate. All right, here it is. Gators, Gal, for Kate. Take it away. I would chew through a mountain and come out spitting lime just to see you one more time I would swim the seven seas and get out right on time just to meet you again I would jump from a cloud and land in a volcano just to hold your hands behind your back while I rabbit bang you and your sweet, sweet ass.
That was Jesus, man. I told you you get sick. You're foaming at the mouth, man. You're rabid. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. All right. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do? Take me to urgent care. Okay. I got to um, get these clothes off. Oh, here. Jesus. I got to take care of urgent ah. care. Get him some shots so he doesn't get rabid. Okay, ah. that's all the time we have for this edition of Internet Superstar. I'd like to thank my friends I just did and Coach Cole for stopping by. Next week, we'll talk to the star of Wine Library TV, the fiery Gary Vaynerchuk. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you at the bar. Gator, I'm coming. Oh, I got foam on me. Oh, Jesus, man. Oh.